guys what's going on welcome back to the channel thank you for joining me again um how y'all doing how you been <laughs> okay. i don't know if ult is doing what they're doing to me i got a 20 percent off coupon right after the um 21 days of beauty ended and then i turned around and got another 20 percent off maybe three days ago it expires today i'm just gonna let it expire because um I ain't gonna lie, I did look around the site, but there's nothing that I really need. And to be honest, I didn't see anything that I really wanted. So I'm just gonna, you know, let that one just, you know, it is what it is. Bye. I'll make it without you. Because uh, I'm saving my coins. Well, it's Sephora, and my cart is full over there. And there's nothing. I went through my cart. There's nothing in my cart that I can get it all to at this point. So, yeah. So this is the remnants. This haul is from the stuff that I got from the first 20% off without them sending me another one. I, I guess they're trying to get all the coins. You know, they want you broke. Don't spend it with Sephora. Spend it with us. But y'all don't have everything that Sephora has. So that's neither here nor there. So anyway, let me tell you, I did uh, do some drugstore hauling. And I got this little stuff here I want to share with y'all before we even get into it. Because all I really got from um Ulta was just stuff that i can't get at sephora so uh yeah so the next 20 percent i mean there's no point there's nothing fabulous that i have to have so anyway y'all let's just get into this haul i did pick up yeah i've been seeing these little straightening combs with a uh that you can plug in and i had to get me one you know these little flyaways that you be having in your hair can slick them down. She cute, ain't she, y'all? She is so cute. This is my favorite wig. Somebody asked me that any of my wigs that I really like. This is one of them. But I got so many. I just have to have them and grab them and put them on. Then I can tell you which one I really like. But anyway, yeah. I did get this little straightening comb. I got this at Walmart. And uh, it's Andidas Gold Ceramic Professional Pressing Comb. And I'm just tripping because if you come back, you know, came up when I came up, it wasn't no electric straightening comb. You put them, matter of fact, I still got mine. It's kind of burnt up. The wood is kind of ragged on it. But you put them on the stove. <laughs> so that's what made me get this. I just had to get it to see. Really? You know? Okay. But yeah. Anyway. Now, where do we start? This is all the stuff. Let me tell you what happened. How this happened. I had no intentions on buying beauty stuff when I went into Walmart. It was the farthest thing oops from my mind i promise you I, I had no intentions but what let me tell you i was getting tires put on my truck and it took them forever i did a whole grocery store run um <laughs> and then you know i made my way over to the beauty section you know how that go you know what i'm saying <laughs> so anyway let me tell y'all what i got and then look at here i got this today no i'm lying i got this thursday so, yeah, my money being saved with that. All right. I picked up these uh, Garnier Skin Active Marcella Makeup Remover Pads. This is for your um, eye makeup remover. And I saw these up Andrea Renee again. I'm always watching her videos. And she picked this up with her, you know, and her 20% off of the haul. And I was like, you know what? If anything else, I could use this after these pads are gone. Which I've already been using them. And they, and they do pretty good. After I get all my other makeup and just go over my eyeliners. Because that Milk Makeup Boss Liner is the business. It's still on and you really need to clean your eyes when you're ready to take it off. And I got a bottle, two bottles of that Garnier cleaner on my sink. that has been there for a while. So I figured if I put this stuff in there and then I'll use it. I'll more than likely use it. I don't remember how much this was, y'all. Um, and then I picked up two of these Olay Mist. I got the Ultimate Hydration Essence. This is the one I used today. That might be the problem. And then I got the Calming Olay Mist. Ultimate Hydration Essence. And I think that's what it is. That's why my foundation cutting up. But let me show y'all the mister. It's just real life. Did y'all see that? Real life. So, I like that, but I don't think this... Energizing one was the choice for me, but I'm gonna try the calming tomorrow. Y'all see how shiny I am, and I, I don't think I've had this makeup on two hours, so I'm thinking it's just energizing. So if you oily, that might not be the one for you. 
And then, y'all, yeah, <laughs> I noticed Wet n Wild came out with this body illuminator. See how dark it is? I was like, let me get that. Because ain't no way in the heck. Um, oh, ooh, Lord, I slung it everywhere. Ain't no way in the world I'm buying uh, that Fenty Beauty one that's $60. Because I put some baby oil, baby oil and a bad uh, eyeshadow that I don't use, you know. Or some of those glittery... Um, what is it called? Those glittery loose pigments that I have that I never use. Yeah, I got this stuff everywhere. Everywhere. It's a pump. I can see that by the picture. But I done made a mess. Hold on, let me fix this mess, y'all. That mess was hard to get off. Okay, that's how it looks. It comes in a pump like that. I'm gonna put some up here on my arm. I was like, this is really dark. I just wanna see what it's gonna do. Kinda runny. Yeah, I know I'd be, ooh! Hey, she, look at that. Y'all see that? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Let me take that back. You know, for the price. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait a while. <laughs> All right, I'm glad I got this. I might go get another one. It's a lighter one, too. I just went with the darker one. Look at that. I still can use some baby oil and some gold. Uh, I'm just saying, make a gold body illuminizer. I like this. This is in 395B. 395B invested in bronze. I like that. Okay, that knocked all the ash out and put a little glimmer and shine. Look at that. See that ash over here? Look at that. Matter of fact, let me put some over here too. Do that one more time. Mm, look at there. Okay. All right, wait a while. Yeah. Okay, y'all, are we on body stuff? I picked up this. I got this mess everywhere, y'all. All of this. I picked up this Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. Now, this, I was walking around in Walmart and I was like, hmm, a body scrub? Oh, it smells good. That's what it looks like. I haven't used it yet. I guess it just settled. But the, uh, oh, yeah. And y'all know I like body washing. Why did I put that on my hands without a towel? Ooh, it smells so good. And the little beads in it that to, to exfoliate are really small. So it won't be feel like it's scraping and scrubbing. Mix this with my jelly jams. I bet this will be good. It says it's new. Exfoliating body polish. Crushed lavender and coconut milk. 10.5 ounces. I think this was like 6 or $7. I can't wait to play with this. I just had to share it with y'all before I even opened it. Okay, y'all, the last bath body stuff. I got these soothing crumbles. This is the unicorn. Um, it says unicorn among horses from Onyx Bathhouse. Unicorn dreams with Moroccan oil, relaxing and hydrating. They're just little crumbles to go in the tub. Yes, I can say a whole prayer, go to sleep and wake up when that water just right, smelling good. All this stuff going to the bathroom because I'm using that tonight. Somebody saying, girl, I know you got some makeup. I did. Let me get through showing you the other stuff first. I got these. <laughs> I got these Japanese Pro Performance Brow and Grooming Duo. No, Japanese Pro Performance Brow Grooming Duo. And it's just some tiny, tiny scissors. Okay, somebody out there already know one. I didn't get these strictly for my brows. This, I think those shears would be perfect for cutting lace off my wigs. Now, if I get that little hair that grow up too high, yeah, I'll go across that. It'll work, but more than likely, I'll be using these for my girls. Next. <laughs> we can get to the makeup. Let me tell y'all, there's one thing I did pick up. It's this Milani Intense Bronze Glow. I saw this when I was walking through Walmart. I was like, you know what? I'm going to check that out. Not that I use a lot. Even though I got a lot of glow stuff, I don't, to be honest, I don't I don't use a lot of it. I guess I hadn't found the perfect one. Oh, that's pretty. It's huge. 
that's what it looks like. It has a really big mirror. Let me swatch some. Oh, it's gold. Oh, that might be a real pretty gold shadow, but on my face, Lord. Let me see. Let me get uh, get this little brush. It's creamy too. It's not it's not dry. It's oh yeah, that'll be a good shadow. I know for sure. Look at that. How it spreads out. But it it feels like that baked jelly stuff. Let's see. Oh okay. It ain't as loud as I thought it would be. You're gonna definitely need to blend that stuff in. Yeah, you blend it in. That's gonna be real nice. Okay. When I first saw it, I didn't think I was gonna like it. Cause it's super gold. It's so gold. Just gonna have to put it on and go over it. But okay, that's cool. I like that. And I still say I like it as a as a cream shadow. Maybe put a powder gold on top of it. And that's the Maglani Intense Bronze Glow Face and Body Powder. So that means you could, no wonder. Let me see. I'm not going to do too much. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> Let me make me a garbage bag. Okay. All right, Cam. Okay, get on down. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Don't let me start talking now, y'all. Okay, next up, I did get the whole, not the whole collection, but everything that I saw. I didn't get the mascara, I don't think. I got too many mascaras, so I know I didn't buy the mascara. Of uh, the, uh, This is the CoverGirl Outlast um, Foundation. This is CoverGirl Outlast Collection. I got the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer Base. Now, I did use this foundation. I've used both of these. These two are foundations. Um... This is the uh, Makeup Wear Extender. I didn't try this. It says it will prolong your makeup. I've tried everything but this. I'm going to put this on my uh, vanity so I'll use it in the morning and I'll let you guys know. Now, this I did use. The CoverGirl Outlast all day and I really, really like this. The coverage is good. Um, it stays on. It doesn't crease. I like this. Uh, I do I do a review on this if y'all would like me to. But I like this cover, girl. Uh, it reminded me of the Tarte Shape Tape. The coverage was really good, and it didn't settle into lines. So, and I got mine in soft stable. If I didn't say it. Now this one, on the other hand, this is the Cover Girl Outlast Active, and it says um, up to 24 hour, wear, won't let you down, sweat proof, transfer proof, or I I can't even stop reading it. it says it's over for it, but Y'all see these lines? And here and in here, it just, and I didn't like the way, I didn't like this one as much. And I want to say because I use this Energizing Olay Mist on it, but I didn't, it wasn't, it, it's, it didn't cover a lot and it won't be still. You see my the collar of my shirt? That's what this is. When I put this shirt on, makeup just went all, no. I, I don't really like this one. You can try this active wear. It feels heavier than that one. I don't know what it is about this one, but I don't really like it. But I got it. I'm stuck with it, so I'm going to use it up. And then the last thing I got here is this CoverGirl Get In Line Active Wear Liner. I use this liner. It is a kind of shiny liner. That's why it looked like it was open, because I did use it. But I really like the tip of it. Look at that. And it makes a perfect line. Perfect line. It's just shiny. I'm going to leave that there so we can see if it will dry down matte. Okay, and that's all the makeup that I picked up in Walmart, guys. That's it. Oh, let me tell you about my lip. I'm glad I looked at this because somebody's going to ask, what color lipstick do I have on? This is um, Cupid's Kiss by Becca. This was the other one I had. You know, I told you I got two. I got Poppy and I got Cupid's Kiss. It's just a real pretty um, neutral looking brown lipstick. I like it. I like this whole collection. I want to get more of these. Um, okay. Let's keep it moving, y'all. So we can, let me put it down here so it won't be off of the screen. Like I said, again, everything I got was just drugstore stuff because it was a 20% off and it's stuff that I'm going to use or, you know, or I already know I like. Like, see, here's my other duo. 
<laughs> and it's something in this one. And this one, uh, you might tell you I ordered it online because when I went in the store and got it, was nothing in the box. But this is the Duo Sick Quick Set Strip Lash. And it has a brush on the end. Instead of squeezing it out. So, yeah. I can't wait to try that out. It says Quick Set, so it's a little dry fast. And then I picked up the Total Temptations of Fluff. Fluffy lashes. That's what that looks like. I don't know why I bought another mascara. I just saw it and hadn't tried this. So yeah, I got it. And then, thank you, uh, Andrea Renee, if you ever see this video or somebody can tell you, thank you. She raves about this 3B Morphe palette, and that's what I use today on my eyes, and I love it. She was absolutely right. And I think this little palette was only like six bucks, y'all. And the shadows are so creamy. Let me bring that in so y'all can get a look at it. They are really, really creamy. It's just a little small matte palette that'll be perfect for getting ready for work. And yeah. If y'all haven't checked this out, it's really worth it. And the shadows are really good. Why did I put that back in there? Well, I got a trash bag over here. See, and that wiped off. It said Outlast, but I did have oil on my hands. So maybe that has something to do with it because I wanted it to dry. Um, do I have any other makeup? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, <laughs> did y'all know Soap and Glory came out with a foundation? What you say? Yes. Soap and Glory came out with a foundation. And yes, I bought it. And when I, it looks darker on the site. And we know also be with the mess. They don't carry a lot of dark shades, especially online. But this is Soap and Glory's foundation. It's called Kick Ass All Day Wear Long. Y'all see that? Now, can y'all see the shade of that? I was like, what the mess? I mean, there's nothing I can do with this. There is nothing I can do with this. Other than maybe I'll mix it with this <laughs> to see if it makes it work better. But yeah, there is absolutely nothing I can do with this. But when I saw it, it was Soap and Glory, and it had great reviews. But yeah, that shade just won't do. Smells good. I don't know. I'm going to just keep it as a mixer for my two dark foundations. It is yellow, and I got a lot of yellow in my skin. So, yeah, for that reason, I will keep it. But I really want to try it. But so, I'm going to need to do a little better about the shades. Or also, if they have the shades, you need to, you know, sell them. People like me want to try them. But I'm pretty sure... Soap and Glory is sold a lot at Ulta, right? So maybe they just didn't make the darker shades because I got the darkest one that they had online. Okay. And then, y'all, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. There's only a few more makeup things. We'll be done. We'll be done with makeup, okay? I got the uh, Candid. Revlon came out with a new foundation. It's called the Candid Foundation. It's been out for maybe a month or two now. So I grabbed the concealer and I grabbed the foundation. The foundation I have in 550. Let's see how did I do with that. Oh yeah, okay. That'll work. Yeah, I think I can do that. It's darker than what it looks like. I can do that. And let's see how I do with the concealer. It's got a little red in it. Oh yeah. My concealer is a little light. We'll see. Maybe I'll just be doing a whole bunch of foundation testing since I've bought all of this darn foundation. And the last thing I got, guys, is a lipstick from Buxom. The last thing in makeup, that is. This is the Full On Pumping Lip Cream. This is their new lippies that came out. And this color is cream sipping. That's what it looks like. I know y'all like, girl, now that is just too orange. That's what I thought. But I wanted to get it anyway because I said I could bring it down with a brown liner. But y'all, it's sheer. It is super sheer. That is doable. I can't get my finger on it. There we go. It's real sheer. And it has that wonderful minty. I'm wearing this in the morning. 
this was the matter of fact um did i see any darker i don't think i see any browns or another dolly i just wanted to get this one these are really moisturizing i don't need them to plump i just need to get on be still and yeah i love buxom glosses y'all know that so i had to get this one and again this shade is in creamsicle now we are done with makeup now we can just get to the rest of the stuff these were on sale for $146. <laughs> and then I had 20% off. So, yeah, I should have got two of these. These are just by Eco Tools and it's real heavy. I love these sponges. And you, you know, you have to throw them away. I throw mine away at least every three weeks. So, I should have got a couple of these because this is really sturdy. Not that y'all need to know that. <laughs> I did re uh, stock my Dr. Till's foaming bath uh, with pure Epsom salt and coconut oil. I love these. I really love these. I only got one because I got two more in the bathroom and two more bath salts. So the next time they have a sale, I just up it then. I, I'm just stopping. I got a bad habit of hoarding stuff. So I think I did really good, y'all. This is another thing by Eco Tools. I want to try these. I've been hearing so much about dry brushing. So I wanted to get me one. We do see. It's supposed to stimulate. Cell growth. Oh, that feels good. And a lot of people say, oh, look at that ash coming out. I ain't want to put on the other side over there. <laughs> Where I got that. Oh, wait, that feels good. Oh, can you imagine you have somebody to do that for you? Okay. Neither here nor there. This was like 5 or $6. So I'm like, yeah, let me get that. So, and I bet it feel real good on the legs. I can't wait to, to try that. And then I got one two three of these Friedman masks I really love these Friedman masks so with the 20% off I just got three different ones ones I hadn't tried I got the anti-stress clay mask with dead sea minerals this is sweet clears pores uh, for renewed skin and then I got the oil absorbing mint and lemon clay mask, a 10 minute mask. Instantly refreshes and controls breakouts in clear skin. That's what that one looks like. And then the last one is hydrating cactus and cloud berry. Salivo mask. Instantly, okay, this will be good for night. Instantly refreshes, brightens, and nourishes the skin. I hate peel off masks. The one that I bought. Uh, my friends are still in there because it just seemed to pull out any little hurt or something. I can't stand that feeling. So, no, I didn't get any more of those. We almost done, y'all. I have a, uh, this is the uh, tea tree. It had this little bitty sample thing and it was on sale. You see the original price up here? $18. I think it was on sale for $14 or $12. So, yeah, I said this would be great for, um, traveling or going out of town instead of taking all your, your big jars or transforming them to something else you know, I'm gonna leave it in this little bag you get um, shea body butter and a shea sugar scrub oops I dropped it looks like this is a pink one I gotta smell it now that I dropped it shoes oh oh that smell good that's what it looks like I shouldn't smell it because I want to leave these in here to take with me. I plan on going to uh, visit my kids. This is the body butter. Oh, that's what it looks like. I plan on me a trip to Memphis real soon. This is uh, the body lotion, which we all know I need because I be ash as crap. And this is the body wash. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a perfect little travel set. Even after you use them up, if you buy a tree hut, which I buy a lot of tree hut, you can just, uh, or even your body wash, transfer it over into here, drop that into your travel bag and you good. So that's, I had a plan when I picked this up. And then y'all, I got this Clean Freak Tropic Dry Shampoo. Not your mother's, not your mother's, Clean Freak. It was on sale. And let me tell you how I got this. I learned from getting these in those Sephora play boxes. I used to sp spray Yoshi my dog with them. <laughs> like, why they give me dry shampoo? We don't use that. But anyway, one day I used it on a wig. 
and I have been doing it ever since. This was on sale for like maybe $1.47, $2.47. I was like, yep, I don't know why I didn't get more for as many wigs as I have. So when I don't, I'm not ready to wash a wig and they starting to act like they want to smell a little funky, this dry shampoo will hook her right on up. I'm just saying, y'all, if y'all haven't tried, give it a try. And that's the end of this haul. The only thing I got left in here is a freebie. And this freebie is from Soap and Glory. Um, let's see what we got in here. We got the Righteous Butter, which I love. I love, love this Righteous Butter. It smells good. It's really moisturizing on the skin, y'all. And then I have this hand food. Another, it's like these folks know I be ashy. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Now I like soap and glory, uh, sexy mother pucker. I like soap and glory lip glosses. I actually have one of these from another free sample I got. And then one of my favorite face washes, uh, face the vitamin C face wash. Y'all know I got about four of these. I keep them in my shower, and this is what I wash my face with um, in the mornings when I shower. I love this. Okay, yeah, I didn't do too bad, and that's why I feel like I got everything I need, and there is no point in me. Um, I hate to see this 20% go, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I keep going back to the app and thinking, oh, it's something. It's going to be something. I want that Stila palette. I'm not going to pay $50 for that Stila palette, palette with the 20% off. I think it made it 46 or 42 something like that. Read the reviews, I said the palette sucks. I got so many eyeshadow palettes. I'm just gonna hold out. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna let the 20% just go to sleep. Thank you for giving it to me, Elta. I do appreciate it, but I just don't need anything. Cause like I said, I'm holding out for the Sephora sale. And um, yeah, that beats all folks. I hope everybody's having a wonderful blessed day. Um, I'm gonna go down here and make me uh, um, a chicken alfredo. With some, uh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not using pasta. See, I'm gonna sit down with the top. <laughs> I'm gonna go, y'all. But let me just tell you what it is. I'm using zucchini. It's like it's already cut. Kroger got it in these little boxes and it's spiral. Yes, I'm gonna put some chicken out. Make me a chicken alfredo in there. I got my chicken in the oven. I'm gonna saute them uh, zucchinis up, y'all. Ooh, child. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs>